Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I've got a really exciting one today because I've been shopping. I've been shopping online and I'm going to be doing a big candle haul. And if you're anything like me, Sniffing candles is one of your favourite pastimes, so if you're all about that like I am, then hopefully you'll enjoy this video. And I want to say a big thank you to Shippitu for sponsoring this video. So in this video I'm also going to be sharing with you how you can shop any US retailer from wherever you live in the world hassle-free for up to 80% off international shipping fees. So I'll tell you a little bit about them first and then we'll jump into the haul and get unboxing all of the candles. So I absolutely love shopping a lot of the American shops. I've been to New York three times now and every time I go there I absolutely love to go to the shops there. I always take a little coach out from New York City out to a place called Woodbury Commons. Have any of you ever heard of that place? It's really brilliant. It's like a shopping retail kind of park and it has loads of US brands there that I absolutely love and I always find that I get for a really good price when I'm over there. I always shop the Nike shop, the Adidas shop, get loads of trainers. I love the candles that they do over there. I'm a big fan of Bath and Body Works, as you'll be seeing shortly. I love Ralph Lauren Home. There's so many great stores over there and the prices can be really good too. So many US stores don't offer international shipping and if they do, it can be a bit of a faff sometimes using your credit card with overseas and that sort of thing. And then if they do ship, sometimes it can take forever and be quite expensive as well. So this is where Shipper 2 comes in. They will basically give you your very own US address so that you can then shop at any US retailer. So basically your US dress is connected to a suite space that is situated in one of Shipper 2's secure warehouses. And then once you've signed up, you can then use your new US address to pop in at the checkout with any US retailer. You can also save up to 80% on US shipping fees if you use the Shipper 2 consolidation tool. So basically what that means is if you shop a bunch of different retailers, instead of paying shipping on each package from each of the retailers, Retailers, they will actually take all of the things that you've bought, pop them into one box and ship it that way. And if you're having any problem using your credit card or you don't want the faff of online shopping, they also have their assisted shopping service where somebody in the US will do your shopping for you and ship it to the warehouse. Shipper2 offers free and premium membership. So if you're a bit of a shopaholic like me or if you do think you're going to be shopping from them more than once, it may be worth signing up to the premium membership, which is 10 US dollars a month or 60 US dollars annually so it works out at five US dollars a month and that will get you some big discounts on their package processing fees their consolidation fees and their photo fees access to their membership rewards program and the suite will be automatically located in Oregon which means you won't have to pay any US sales tax on any of your products it's really easy to sign up to Shipper2 and create an account for yourself to get your own US address. And it's time for the fun part. You can start shopping at your favorite US retailers. And once you've done your shopping at the checkout, you simply enter your new US address and place your order. And if you want to get an idea of how much the shipping from Shipper2 is going to cost you, you can use their online calculator, which will give you an estimate for that. So once all the products have arrived, Shipper2 will drop you a little email to let you know. And then all you have to do is fill out the customs form. And you can select any special services as well so you can get shipper 2 to take some photographs of the products that you've ordered just to check that nothing's damaged or missing before they send it on to you and then you can select your shipping service so if you're on a bit of a budget there are options where it will be a little bit slower so if it's something that's worth the wait you can hang on in there and it will come to you in a few weeks time which I always think is quite exciting or if you're really impatient there are options to get it to you super quickly as well that's it so once the products have been shipped you will get a tracking link as well so you can see how they're getting on and before you know it, you'll have an exciting parcel from the US to unbox, which is what I'm going to do with you now. If you are tempted to do any shopping online from the US, then hopefully this has given you a good option to do so. Do click the link in the description box, which will get you 15% off your first order with Ship2. So, where is it? Here we are. Here's the box. It's got a fragile sticker on it because it does contain lots of candles in glass containers and I have had a quick peep inside and they're all free from any damage. They've been wrapped up really nicely in some brown paper, which is always good. And then some of the candles are in boxes like this. And then we also have lots of them wrapped up in bubble wrap too. So I feel like it's time for a quick sip of the coffee. Hope you've got a drink on the go as well. Let me know what drink you've got in the comments down below. I'm using my 
thrifted Waitrose mug with the acorns on it. I'm loving using this one, it's a perfect size, so quick sit. Mm. And we'll get into the haul. Right, let's put the box to one side and we'll start going through these. I have got quite a few here, I wanted to make the most of the shipping, so yeah. As we know, I'm a bit of a candle hoarder anyway, but a few of these I thought would make really lovely gifts as well, and with Christmas coming up, I thought they'd be quite nice um, to wrap up as Christmas presents too. So starting off with one of the bigger sizes, we have a three wicker, and this is the White Barn Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity Scented Candle made with essential oils. So it comes in this really nice glass container, and I really like the packaging on this one. It also has the metal lid, which I usually stand them on, so once I take the lid off and burn it, I'll usually just sit it on top of the lid. And this one smells, it actually smells like a fragrance that I have. It smells a little bit like, I think it's the Mont Blanc fragrance that I've got. It reminds me of. It's kind of fresh, but then it's got a really nice, slightly musky scent, I would describe that as. Let's see if it says anything underneath. So it says, rich mahogany with black teakwood, dark oak and frosted lavender with essential oil. So maybe it's the lavender that's smelling slightly fresh on that one. I'm not sure but really good, and it says high concentration of rich, rich fragrance oils deliver room filling fragrance, and it's a soy wax blend created with lead free wicks, in case you're interested, and 100% crafted with you in mind. With you in mind or who? I don't know, one of us. <laughs> That's so good. Um, that is gonna be a firm favorite for in the living room, I think. It just reminds me of something that should be kind of near the fireplace. I don't know, do you place certain candles in certain rooms? I feel like that's always a vibe, isn't it? And I feel like something with mahogany teakwood kind of vibe, that's speaking to me for a living room. I've lost it already, haven't I? And we're on candle number one. <laughs> so next up we have, oh this is a good one, this is crisp morning air. I mean, in normal life, without candles, is there a better smell than that at this time of year? I'm not sure there is. Um, so yeah, up bright and early, walk outside, there's a field with some frost on it, and there's, I nearly said some lambs playing, there's not lambs in winter, no, there's a robin in the tree, and there's, yeah, frost on the grass, and this is what we're smelling. So it cuts through the air, this kind of fragrance, I think, which I always like with a candle. Sometimes, even in the summer, if it's a bit muggy, I'll sometimes burn a candle, because I feel like it cuts through the air. Maybe like a citrus one, if that makes sense. So this one, um, yeah, crisp morning air with essential oils. And it says crisp fall breeze, white oak, golden amber wood, and soft sandalwood. It's quite a delicate fragrance, but it's got a really nice freshness to it. So a nice one to burn in the morning, I think. I might pop this one on my desk. And I feel like it'd be a nice one when I'm tapping away at the laptop, doing my emails to have this burning on a winter's morning with the window frosted. <laughs> Am I selling it to you? Do you um, imagine the smell of that candle? It's tricky to describe fragrances on the internet, I find. Um, cinnamon stick, so we have this one again made with essential oils and it says, ooh. This one doesn't seem to have a description on the um, sticker underneath, unless I'm missing it somewhere. So maybe this one is just Cinnamon stick, or stick of cinnamon. This is delightful. This reminds me of candles that I've had before, which are very festive, slightly on the sweet side. So this is almost like you're making a mulled wine and you've got to that point where it's starting to bubble a little bit and you think, oh, I better turn the gas down because we don't want to burn all the alcohol out of it and the orange is starting to come through. You've given it a good squeeze of orange in there and a few cloves, and it's got that nuttiness of the cloves. But there we are, cinnamon stick, love this. I bought a couple of these. I've doubled up on some of them because I think they make really nice little presents, don't they? A little candle like that. Can't go wrong. So next up we have mahogany balsam. Again, no description on the base, but I don't think I'll be going for a real tree this year. If I do get a real tree, the real tree might actually go out on the roof garden. So I want to have a go at making a charity shop find artificial Christmas tree that I picked up last year into 
as sort of nice a one as possible, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna maybe add a few extra branches to it, bulk it out a little bit, and just do my best to try and make what is a really cheap tree into something that looks quite nice. So, um, stay tuned for that video, but yeah, with that in mind, I'm thinking, good to have some fragrance uh, candles inside that smell a little bit like a Christmas tree. It'll just give us the vibe, won't it? So, give this one a sniff. This is much more subtle than I expected, actually. I feel like this is going to be one that's going to be better once it's burnt. It is more subtle. I think I was expecting it to be a little bit more full on. Often the green ones like this that smell like a Christmas tree are quite full on, aren't they? So yeah, I mean, nice enough. And I doubled up on that one as well. This one is a relaxed candle. So they had a few different ranges and this one is their aromatherapy um, relaxed by Bath and Body Works and this is lavender and cedar wood. So I love anything like this, especially for the evening and especially for the bathroom or the bedroom. And straight away I'm getting a bit of the lavender but I'm also getting quite a soapy smell with this. It smells a bit like a typical bar of soap. So we'll see how that one burns. It almost smells quite waxy as well. It just smells a little bit of candle wax. So I'm not sure how strong the fragrance is of this. It might be one that um, comes through more when you burn it. And it says it contains lavender oil to inspire tranquility and cedar wood oil to help calm the mind. Perfect. So yeah, I'm thinking bathroom and this will be lovely to light when it's bath book and bedtime. So this one is called flannel, which I thought was quite an unusual uh, name for a candle. I'm just trying to think, does flannel have a different meaning in the US? I know that flannel here in the UK is something that you wash your face with, and flannel is also a kind of fabric. And I feel like it might have a different meaning. Anyway, um, it's got a really beautiful design on the label. Now this here reminds me, if you've seen my living room tour, or if you've seen me filming in the other corner of the living room where the armchair is, I've got a screen in the background that has kind of like a painted scene on it. And it's very similar to this in terms of the way it's been painted and the colours. Um, yeah, so I might pop this over there next to it on the little marble side table. Do you know what I'm talking about? If you're a regular viewer, I feel like you'll know the bit that I'm talking about. Um, if not, feel free to go and watch one of the living room um, videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. So this one smells very fresh. It smells quite sweet. Reminds me of sweets a little bit, um, which wasn't what I was expecting, but there we are. This one is fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. So I think it's the musk that's coming through that's quite sweet in there. And heirloom mahogany sounds very posh, doesn't it? Don't know what that means, but there we are. Um, really nice packaging on this one. I think this is part of the autumn range, if I remember correctly. And then another one from the autumn range is this one called Leaves. I really like the design of this one. It's got a autumn leaf on there and some gold um, within it. And this one says red apple, golden nectar and warm clove spice. This one's quite strong. This one reminds me kind of like cider kind of smell but the sort of cider that you'd get in the UK in maybe Devon or somewhere like that where it's been brewed and it's quite strong and it's like still cider. Or like a mulled cider, it's that kind of vibe. Oh, I really fancy a mulled cider now. Is it too soon? <laughs> Is it too soon? I don't mean at the time, I mean time of year, but well. It's half past one in the afternoon and I'm filming this at the start of November, but there we are. I mean, I would say neither are too soon. I don't know what you think. Really nice, I feel like this one would be quite nice to burn in the kitchen with that in mind. So I might pop it in there. By the way, I don't just put candles in every room in the house and then light them all and leave them all unattended. I do tend to just <laughs> burn them in the room that I'm within. So yeah, please don't fill your house with candles in all the different rooms and leave them to burn. I don't think that would be a good idea. Um, so next up, I bought a multi-pack of hand sanitizers. So I love their hand sanitizers. I've had them in the past and they lasted me ages. I had one in my bag and it just seemed to last a long time, although that was different times, but we won't discuss that. Um, and this one is called Stress Relief. So it's got eucalyptus, spearmint, and essential oils in there. Pocket back, antibacterial hand gel, and 68% uh, alcohol in this. Let's give it a quick squeeze and sniff. Oh, that smells good. It's quite strong when you first sniff it. 
but it does leave quite a um, relaxing kind of um, fragrance, which is quite nice. Often when I'm flying or if I'm taking public transport, if I'm feeling a little bit stressed, especially when I'm flying, I will usually carry like an essential oil, that sort of thing, and just put a little bit on like my pulse points and give it a sniff. So yeah, if you do your hands regularly at the moment um, with the anti back, it's quite nice to use one like this. So you can just breathe it in if you want. So I'll be that person <laughs> on the uh, tube, sniffing my hands like this through my mask, because that looks really normal. There we are. Um, but yeah, um, very nice indeed. So I've got a few of those. You can buy multi-packs of the hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. They also had some hand washes as well, which are always quite nice, like foaming hand wash, and they have some lovely shower gels and that sort of thing. They always have some good offers on as well. They have like multi-buys and discounts on different candles as well. So worth keeping an eye on. And then the last one that I've got to show you, oh, I think this is my favorite. Yeah, I love this one. So this is a very Christmassy candle. Um, so again, something that I'll be burning in the living room if we don't have the real tree in here. And this one is Fresh Balsam. Again, it's a three wicker, really nice design. So it's got a kind of foil effect on the label there. It takes me back to kind of a certain wrapping paper that I feel like I've seen. You know when you spy something and it's like a little throwback, it kind of reminds me of, yeah, a specific foil kind of wrapping paper that's quite memorable. But anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted thinking about wrapping Christmas presents. This one smells great. This is one of my favorite sort of fragrances for a candle. This is much stronger and it's got that really good, fresh sort of Christmas tree kind of smell to it. There's a similar one from Diptyque that I've bought in the past, which is very pricey and this does actually smell very similar to it. I've forgotten what the Diptyque one's called, but it often comes in a green kind of designed um, container as well and I absolutely love it. When you burn this it really makes it feel like December if that makes sense. I've had these in the past and it will just take you straight back to those Christmassy kind of days with a Christmas film on at this burning. It's freezing cold outside. Oh I absolutely love it. Can't wait to burn this and with the three wick as well it always makes the room look really cosy doesn't it. So yeah very happy with my candle haul. I hope you enjoyed going through the candles as well and if you're not into candles then I'm very sorry this probably wasn't the right video for you. So thank you again to Shipper2 for sponsoring this video and if I've inspired you to do a little cheeky Bath & Body Works order for yourself or if you're just fancying shopping any US retailers then do click the link in the description box which will get you 15% off your first shipment with Shipper2. So yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did do give it a little thumbs up. Let me know if there's any kind of hauls that you fancy coming up as we go into the festive season and yeah don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr Carrington or Mr Carrington Home. I'm off to distribute the candles around the house and pop a few of them in my presents drawer where I stash and squirrel away presents for people and yeah I might just light one now start filling the house with some fragrance but yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye